When you're going to be traveling with multiple dogs, one of the things you need to keep in mind is whether or not your vehicle is actually large enough to have all the dogs in it that you're going to be traveling with. Uh, what I do is actually I find a a station wagon, really convenient to be traveling with multiple dogs. I actually have the back seat folded down and I've got beds in the back of the car with blankets on them. What you need to know is where you're going to put which dogs. You want to have a settled routine. Hey, Ursa, come on, hon. Let's go. You want to have a settled routine so the dogs also know where they're going to go. Raven, this way. <whistles> Raven, Ursa, wait. Okay, up. Raven up. Little baby needs a bit of help, but you can see in the car, it's a nice, comfortable bedding here for them. And I put these two dogs in the back, and you can see that she knows not to get into the back. So we've got a little routine here. Okay, up you get. And she knows that she's going to go jump into the front seat. So they all fit fairly comfortable in there. When you're traveling with your dogs, you want to make sure you have enough water for them. Uh, you can get traveling water bowls, keeping a container of water that you can just put right into the back of your car. You also want to make sure that your dogs are trained well enough to know that when you open your car, they can't just come jumping in and out. You can see that Raven's got a little toy back here to give her something to do while we're driving around. They've got beds, they're comfortable, and no one's on top of each other. One of the important things to keep in mind if you're trying to keep the dogs happy is to see that there's enough space. You don't have one dog on top of another. If there was a young dog that you was not used to riding in the car, then I would certainly advise putting a crate in the car. And of course, some states do require that dogs are restrained in some way. So, for example, I know that Pennsylvania is a state where your dogs have to be confined either in a crate or in a seat belt type situation, and you can always keep this sort of setup with a seat belt attachment. So, they're all ready to go, comfortable, relaxed. So, we'll head off.